Okay, question number seven is worth 4,000. Have a look, you don't have to play it, but you've got all three lifelines. Here it comes. What nationality is supermodel Elle McPherson? British, American, Canadian, Australian. I think she's Australian, but she might be one of these Australians who's a new Australian, so she might be actually Canadian or something. I think she's, you know, like Mel Gibson, everyone thinks he's Australian, but I think he's actually American or something. <laughs> the same show as me. Um, <laughs> so you think she's Australian, but she's a new Australian, therefore she might not be Australian? Yeah. Like, some people might have the accent, but not actually the nationality. So... Why would they want that accent? No, 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 but they've lived there for most of their life, but they actually weren't born there or something. That's right. What I mean. So where are we going then, Michelle? <laughs> um, I think she's Australian. Final answer. Yes. It's good, you got £4,000. Have a look at question number eight. It's worth £8,000. Some serious money now. Which television drama series was set on a North Sea ferry? Triangle, tripod, triad, trident. It's probably before my time. I don't know at all. Um, can I ask the audience, please? You can see if it was before their time. Um, audience, on your keypads, please. This is worth £8,000 to Michelle. Which television drama series was set on a North Sea ferry? A, B, C or D? All vote now. Uh, 60% are saying triangle. Four, seven, 29th in Trident. So now what are you thinking? Mm. Um, well, I don't think it's triad or tripod, so I would choose between triangle and trident. Um, I'm going to say triangle. Final answer? Yes. You could have taken £4,000 and walked away. You just won £8,000. <laughs> yes! Well done, everybody! Right, you've got £8,000. Serious money to you, I know it is. You've got a 50 50 and you've got phone a friend. Have a look at question number nine, it's worth £16,000. Here it comes. Which ingredient gives mead its sweet taste? Sugar cane, honey, maple syrup, apple juice. It's honey. Drink a lot at university? <laughs> no, I'm, I made it once for a catering job, though, so I remember making it. It's honey. You put honey in it? Yeah. Final answer? Yes. It's very good. You did put honey in. It's the right answer. You've got £16,000. Well done, everybody. Now, it's getting a bit serious here. You've got two lifelines left. You've still got a phone a friend, which you haven't used. You've still got a 50-50. Uh, next one is big milestone, £32,000. Now, that would be handy, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be handy. Have a look at question number 10. It's worth £32,000. Take your time. Tell me what you want to do. Which traditional measure is based on the area of land a yoke of oxen could plough in a day? Cubit. Chain. Rod, acre. I'd be inclined to say acre. Because that, that sounds about right. I don't think a chain is an area, I think it's a length. I'm not sure, though. I don't know imperial very well. <laughs> I'm metric. Um, You've got 16,000. You would lose 15,000, Michelle, if you gave me a wrong answer. Can I go 50-50, please? You can. Uh, computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Michelle the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Mm. 
One of those will win you £32,000, a lot of money. One of those will cost you £15,000. Well, I've got a feeling it's Acre, so I'm going to say Acre. Want to play? Yeah. You had £16,000. You've now got £32,000. Top bill. Is that good? Yeah. £32,000? That's a lot of money. There can't be, you'll be so popular at university in the bar. <laughs> £32,000, at least. Have a look, Michelle. You might as well play question number 11. Use the lifeline if you need it. It's worth £64,000. OK. How many countries on the mainland of South America have a mutual border with Brazil? Six, eight, ten, twelve. Take as long as you need, it's worth 64,000. I wouldn't have thought it was as high as 12, but I'm not sure, so I'll have to phone a friend. OK, who should we phone? Um, Kate. Kate? 30 seconds. OK. Uh, tell you the right answer. Hopefully it's worth £64,000. You don't have to take her answer, but you might as well, you might as well play it, whatever. Hello? Kate? Yes? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, wow, hi. Oh, wow. Um, I've got Michelle playing at the moment, Kate. Right. Uh, I don't know how to break this to you. She's got £32,000. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Ooh. We're surprised, so she. But she's got £32,000 guaranteed. Good, yeah. Right, the next voice you hear will be Michelle's. She'll tell you a question and four possible answers. You'll only have 30 seconds. Okay. One of those is the right answer was £64,000. Fine. OK. Michelle, your time starts now. Good luck. OK, Kate. Hi, Michelle. How many countries on the mainland of South America have a mutual border with Brazil? Is it six, eight, ten, or twelve? I would go for eight, I guess. But it is a guess. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you, Kate. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. I'd have thought it would be six or eight. I think ten or twelve sounds a bit high, but then not knowing. I can't really say that with any certainty. But I've got 32, I might as well. So I'll say eight. Final answer. Yeah. You had 32,000 pounds, you know you guaranteed that. You've still got 32,000 pounds. Oh, that's the wrong answer, right? Yeah. The right answer is actually amazing. It is a huge country. The right answer, there are actually ten other countries on the mainland have a mutual border with Brazil. I think you had to go for it anyway, and Kate was guessing around about eight. Give her a big hand. She's been extraordinary. She's won £32,000. <laughs> You've still got eight players left, so fastest finger first again. Nice and quiet, please, audience. Right, here comes the next question. Put these British athletes in the order they won an Olympic gold medal. Anne Packer, Sally Gunnell, Tessa Sanderson, Mary Peters. OK, let's see. That might prove quite hard. Let's see, um, let's see the right order, then. Uh, the order in which they won Olympic gold. Uh, first and foremost, Anne Packer. That was right back in 1964. Mary Peters was then 72. Tessa Sanderson was 84. Sally Gunnell was 1992. That's the right order. These all got it right. Three got it right. Who was fastest? Nadim to fail. 5.44 seconds. Well done, Nadim. Good man. That's very quick. Five seconds is good. You ready for this? That's why you can. Let's do it. Question number one, it's worth 100 quid. What's the name of the short bar with a weight at each end often used by bodybuilders? Dumbbell, dumbstruck, dumbfound, dumbo. I'll go for dumbbell. Dumbbell's the right answer, you've got 100 quid. <laughs> oh, I 
shook's clapping. If you do well, you're going to feed him to the lions. <laughs> oh, good. You've got 100 pounds. Have a look at question number two for 200 quid. Here it comes. Which suit in a pack of cars shares its name with gemstones? Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. I'll go for the diamonds. That's the right answer. You've got 200 quid. <laughs> OK, number three for £300. Take your time, you've got three lifelines, you don't need them yet, but you may do. Have a look at it, see what you want to do. Who is the leader of the Conservative Party? Kenneth Clark, Anne Widdicombe, Michael Portillo, William Hague. William Hague. They'd all like to be, but William Hague is the leader of the Conservative Party. Um. <laughs> you right so far? Yep. No problem. I've got question number four, it's worth £500. What's the title of Joseph Heller's most famous novel? Catch 21, Catch 22, Catch 23, Catch 24. Go for Catch 22. Confident? It's good, you've got 500 quid. Right, now it's the last point at which you could go home with nothing. I'm sure it won't happen. You've got all three lifelines, just in case you need one. Have a look at question number five. It's worth a guaranteed £1,000. How is the travelling swagman's pack referred to in the title of the traditional Australian song? Twisting Tracy, Jiving Judy, Waltzing Matilda or Bopping Belinda? Waltzing Matilda. No problem at all. Very straightforward. You've got £1,000. <laughs> <laughs> so a thousand pounds at least to take back home to Crystal Palace, but you are ten away from a million. You've got all three lifelines left. Okay, so far? Yep. Have you um sort of set your focus on a particular sum that you'd like as a minimum? Um I'll be quite happy with sixteen or thirty two around that figure. You're five questions away from the next big milestone of 32,000. You're ten away from a million. You've got all three lifelines. Take your time, have a look at them as they come up. Question number six is worth £2,000. Who played Dorothy in the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz? Shirley Temple, Elizabeth Taylor, Judy Garland, Esther Williams. Go for Judy Garland. Sure? Yeah. See it? Yeah. Final answer? Oh, it's good, you got £2,000. <laughs> Old Shook's clapping away, and we're going to feed into the lions. You've got £2,000. Have a look at question number seven. It's worth £4,000. Money now starting to go up a bit quickly. Drops get a bit steep as well. You've got £2,000 at the moment. This is worth four. Here it comes. Kingston is the capital of which Caribbean country? Haiti, Barbados, St Lucia, Jamaica. Kingston. Go for Jamaica. Why are you looking so worried then? You were looking very puzzled when that came up. There's no I'm pretty sure that's the answer. Final answer? Yeah. No problem. It's the right answer. You've got 4,000. <laughs> and you still haven't used a lifeline. Take your time, have a look at the next one. It's worth £8,000. Serious money. Skipjack is a variety of which fish? Tuna, salmon, cod, halibut. Go for A. It's tuna. How did you know that? I've got about three tins of it at home. <laughs> <laughs> you sure they're not tins of skipjack halibut? <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. That's <laughs> the right answer. Good eight grand. <laughs> Good man. You may be able to afford a better meal, actually, now. You've got 8,000 pounds. <laughs> Have a look at question number nine. You still haven't used a lifeline. It's worth 16,000 pounds. Cathay is a poetic name for which country? Japan, Sri Lanka, Russia, China. China. Confident? Pretty. 
hundred percent. Ninety. Got my final if you want it. I'll go for China. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got sixteen thousand pounds. Right? Well, you said when you came in from Crystal Palace, sixteen thousand pounds would be a very nice sum of money. You've got that at the moment. You could still lose it. If you get me a wrong answer on the next question, you drop 15,000. But you've got all three of those lifelines. You haven't needed one yet at all. Have a look at question number 10. Tell me what you want to do. It's for 32,000 pounds. Here it comes. Which prefix, meaning son of, goes before boys' names to create Scottish surnames? Mac. Mac. 